Now let's take a closer look at the DQ state VI. Draw your attention to the lower left of the diagram. Here we have a single instance of DQ state. It accepts a reference to the state Q and it also accepts a Boolean input which is wired to the front panel stop button. The VI produces as output a single state which is wired to the selector of the overall case structure and this is how a given state picks out a given subdiagram to be executed next. Let's take a look at the block diagram of this VI. Let's begin with the air cluster. It's connected to the selector of the overall case structure and in case of error we pass the air cluster through, pass the state Q reference through, ignore the state Q altogether, and then generate QSM shutdown as the state. Now this true subdiagram for the inner case structure is triggered when the front panel stop button is pressed. To perform a graceful shutdown of the VI, the state Q is flushed, meaning that all of the pending states are removed and the state queue becomes empty. And then these four states are enqueued in their place. First is QSM cleanup. This, among other things, sets the stop webcam flag. The Vision Acquisition Express VI sees that the stop webcam flag is set and shuts down the camera. Cleanup My Rio onboard devices as well as externally connected devices and finally free up any memory that was allocated to the state queue as well as to image buffers. Now this is all when the stop button is pressed. When the stop button has not been pressed, then the queue reference passes through, the air cluster passes through, and now it's time to dequeue a single element from the state queue. Dequeue element is located right here. This is produced as a single result from the VI, that is a single state. This is a courtesy output for the state queue, and then of course we have the air cluster out as well.